DIY Duke here. Today we're going to be moving some weights in for the home gym down in the basement, the Buff Tube Gym. But first, I got to get this Jeep out of the way. <laughs> Got some a Vanco 25 pounder. Just gonna move these weights in. Gotta go by this wall, new wall in the garage. Gotta be careful so I don't bump into it. Ah! Oh, God damn it. Okay, well, that's a pretty good gash. It broke the paper here, so we're gonna have to tape that or do something. Otherwise, if we just put mud over it, it's going to re-crack. We have a couple different type of textures here I did on purpose. The orange peel, which is very common, and a machine brocade or knockdown. The orange peel sprayed on in a little heavier fashion. It's set up a bit and then it's wiped down with a knife. So we'll go ahead and fix that. Really simple. Then we'll redo the texture on that and that'll be good to go. Of course we have some mud. Six inch broad knife, a pan. We're gonna use a sanding block this time. Have a sponge for blending and a utility knife which will cut that thing out of in a piece of sheetrock and a little water to mix that up. So let's go ahead and cut this out. So you basically got your patch cut out. Now there's some paper back there, but as you can see, it's not very strong. I'm going to do a little square patch here too and do them both. Okay, really simple. What we're going to do is trim this drywall over on the back side is showing. We're going to take that square we took out and basically lay it there. Then we're going to go past it about an inch like so. It doesn't have to be even that square. You can freehand it. We'll go ahead and snap that. And there we got our piece. Then, while you have it on there, then you can trace that square out like so. Go ahead and cut a little inside those lines so to make sure that fits good. Then we're going to snap that as well and just go past her a little like so. And then just peel that back until there's some paper left. We're going to use that for the joint tape instead of having to buy some joint tape. Now basically this is going to be our patch right there. Bring it over and see if that fits. And perfect. We can see how we're going to be able to just tape that and that's going to cover that hole. Instead of drywall mud, we're going to do it with caulking. That way you don't have to mix a bunch of mud up and stuff like that. One time I had run out of mud and I thought I would improvise and I'd use this caulking. Now this is just the latex caulking. It's paintable and washable with water. It's not silicone. As you can see it's white. I just put a smear a bunch on there. Get it good and coated. And you know how this stuff works. I mean, people use it for bathrooms and, and windows and doors and that kind of stuff. Seals good and it really adheres good as well. So you're gonna coat that good and go ahead and push that in there and just squeeze that out. As you can see, that squeezes out real nice. Use your fingers, then you can get your broad knife. And see it acts just like mud. I've used caulking in a lot of applications in drywall. 
It's because a lot of times it's faster. You can see the indentation forming from the patch. Just cover that with caulking. And that's going to be good and glued. So we're going to let that set. Do its thing. We'll go over it again. The caulking shrinks back. So we'll put a couple of coats on there. Meantime, let's go ahead and fix the circle the uh, conventional way with some fast set drywall mud. Let's go ahead and fix this one. We gotta cut a circle, obviously. And that is about four and three eighths. So we're gonna use our circle cutter and set it on four and three eighths, which is right about there. But remember, we're gonna do it the same way we did the square one. We're gonna cut it a little past so we can use that paper. So we'll stay away from the edge about an inch. And just go ahead. If you don't have a circle cutter, you can use a nail and a string. Well, it's easy to do it with just a string if you want to cut a circle. Just make yourself a loop. Put your nail in. Now we want four and three eighths, so we're going to go half of that. Which is two, three sixteenths. So it's going to be there. I'm going to wrap our string around our pencil. And then we're just going to make a circle. Like so. And then we'll cut it out. On this one we'll use some dry old mud using this little facet. Get it like ice cream, soft ice cream. So we'll go ahead and put a little mud around this. It's enough to stick that patch on there. it out good as long as there's some left behind there glue it on and go ahead and go over it again because there'll be a place to fill there Let's kind of skim over that edge of the patch now right above that patch is the one we did with the caulking. So we're gonna do them both and do a little comparison. So that's the 20 minute mud we'll let dry. And there we go. Let that set up a little while and we'll do the top one with our caulking and the bottom one with our hot mud. This is my preferred way. It's easier. You don't have to mix up mud. It's a tube of caulking. The only thing is you'll have to use a sponge to feather their edges. Whereas this one, we're going to use a sanding block. That's the difference. Okay, this is looking good with the caulking side. Let's put some more caulking on there. Let's see if we get this looking good. Run that a little wider. A little lump.
Now that's looking pretty good. So let's put the second coat on the drywall patch with the hot mud. Kind of coat that. This is the the 20 minute mud. Scope that out a little. Looking pretty good after the second coat. We'll run it a little past there. That'll be good. And again, this one we're going to sand. And the caulking one we're not. Yeah, let's take a look. So, here's our facet patch, which is two coats. And here's our caulking patch, which is basically one coat after we set it. This one is looking like less work than this one. And still, we got a little bit of sanding to do on this one. Whereas this one, we're going to use a sponge and just feather that. And that thing is ready to texture. Let's go ahead and sand this one and take out these imperfections. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to get texture and that covers a lot. Let's go ahead and sand that drywall. We're going to take like an 80 grit, 120 grit, and just kind of gently hit that. Remember, there's texture here, so we're going to try to blend that into the texture. So when we spray that, it'll blend and we won't see a ridge where you could obviously see there is a patch down there. So just sand all the lines out, the imperfections. It doesn't take much. Find a little place there, blend that in, and that's really ready to go. Up here, where we use caulking, it's good to go now. Way when you do that second coat, just hit the edge tight with your knife and it's already blended. So next step, some texture. This stuff works really good on orange peel and even knockdown. It has a setting here where you can turn the pressure down to do the heavier splatter. And or the old fashioned way, which is a brush dipped in some mud will mix up and simply flicking the bris bristles this way. So we mix some mud up pretty thin as you can see. And then we're going to take a brush and just dip the bristles in there. And then just flick this stuff. As you can see, it does a nice job of replicating an orange peel. Just keep doing it until it's evened out. We're going to do the top half in the orange peel and the bottom half in the knockdown. So we stand back a little and just start spraying. You can kind of get the feel of it and just go beyond several inches so that'll all blend with the wall. And that's looking good. Remember this stuff will shrink back. So spray it in a pretty good amount there because it, it'll absorb into that patch and then shrink back a little bit and flatten it out. And that's going to blend really well with the stuff we already have. And do the knockdown on this lower portion. We turn this dial counterclockwise and that's going to give us a heavier texture. So let's do that. Now the trick with this stuff is the surface is shining right now is to wait till that shine goes off of it and then start hitting it with your knife. That's going to flatten the top parts out without flattening it too much and making it look like a mess. Okay this knockdown is looking pretty good. It's barely shiny there. It's going away. I don't want to wait too long. It'll be too dry. So we're going to just take our knife and just slowly go over it. And then push down on there. It depends upon 
the knockdown on the wall if it's heavier stuff. See, that's looking good. I can put some pressure on that and get that knocked down really well. Let's see how our texture's doing after paint. Our first textures over here were done with a brush. A little bit heavier. That's an orange peel. It kind of stands out as you can see. Over here is our orange peel we did with the patch with the caulking. That looks pretty good. And down here is a lighter knockdown. The pattern's kind of small, but it looks good. So either way, whichever method you choose, you're going to come out with a good looking patch. Alright, drywall is patched. Next up on the agenda is a punching bag. Got some requests for that. I'm going to build that tomorrow. Get that video out. It's going to be simple and cheap. So until next time, DIY Duke. Stay buff. Want to do some drywall? Hey, Samson, over here. I need some help. Hey, get out of that mud, boy. What do you think? Are you going to help? Uh, Mr. Snoopy. Hello, Mr. Snoopy. Here he goes. <laughs>